For the first time in 10 years, maritime music legend Matt Minglewood has released a new album, Driving Wheel. While performing a sold-out show in Fredericton, Matt spoke about the long gap between albums. Well, I was doing other things, you know, I was busy with uh, different things, you know, just playing a lot with my own band, touring the country back and forth. I was in the Summertime Review for a couple of years. I produced a couple of albums, one for Summertime Review, one for Wayne Nicholson. Uh, stuff like that. I, I've been busy, you know, I haven't been, uh, haven't been idle, but I just haven't been recording any of my own stuff. The possibility for Matt doing video does exist, but it is expensive. Yeah, we're talking about maybe a possibility of a video. video. It costs a lot of money to do a video. If you don't get airplay or on it, you know, it's a lot of money to... It would cost just as much money to do the video as it cost me to do the whole record. I, did, I went through that with uh, the Promise record. You know, it cost me just as much to do the video as it did to do the record, and they didn't play. Actually, when uh, the, the, uh, the one we did for the Promise was uh, Runaway, that got airplay when, as soon as the country channel came in. They were looking for Canadian content, <laughs> and it was there about you know, five, six years too late. <laughs> in a few weeks, Matt will go overseas to take on the European audience. We're doing a tour of Europe for a couple of weeks, three weeks, uh, just a promo tour, get the album, you know. We're, we're looking for uh, uh, distribution over there, and uh, we think we'll get it. I got distribution on the last two I did over there. It's just finding the right company. So uh, we're working on it. I was over there uh, after the Promise record doing some promo work, some TV stuff, and radio stuff. Did a TV show over there, a big rock show, but I've never had my band over there actually touring and playing, so that's what we're going to do this time. We're doing a lot of uh, cities through Belgium, Germany, and Holland, playing outdoor free concerts, right? So they say we'll be playing for anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 people each night, so there's a few club dates worked into that, so they feel, the people I talk to over there feel that uh, there's a strong market for me over there, so it'd be nice to find another one outside of Canada. Canada is a big place, boys. The music industry has changed quite a bit since Matt first recorded. If anything, I think it's tougher now. Uh, and I could see it was pretty tough when I started because there was no industry, so to speak, when I started, especially down here. It was all in Toronto. Everything was Toronto. But I don't even think there was one in Vancouver at the time as far as record companies and things. But uh, it's changed now, but everything's so visual now, the way it, uh, TV and so everything's so corporate. Radio stations are all owned by conglomerates. TV stations are owned by conglomerates. You know, record companies are all owned by conglomerates, and it's very... And so they, you know, it's, it's mostly people putting bands together, good-looking young people, and getting songwriters, and making a whole image package, and taking that and selling it, you know. It's, I've been fortunate enough to have a, a fan base that's pretty loyal, right, throughout the country, simply because I've toured it non-stop and, and when I did come out there were no videos when I started but really so I got a I got a loyal following that way and now I got their kids most of Matt's back catalog of albums still remain unreleased on compact disc the only one that I have control over is the very first one the, uh, the red album which is out on CD we just basically sell it it's in some music stores but we basically sell it live uh, I've been trying to get my catalog from the RCA days and the CBS one. If I could get them, I'd release them. I'd, I'd put them on CD format and uh, re release them. But other than the best stuff that was put up by BMG, which I don't have c control over, I'd have to buy them from the record company. I'd have to buy the masters. And they don't like to give you anything. 